Atiku is our in-law. He has three sons with us who are Fulani and Igbo. Dan Ulasi, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The PDP chief team, Dan Olasi, has said that due to the facts that a presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, is married to an Igbo man, they, the Southeast region, now have two candidates who are P2B and Atiku Abubakar. Dan Olasi said that Atiku is their in law and that he had three sons with them who are Fulani and Igbo. He said this during an interview with AIT News on Kakaki program, and according to him, he said he does not want anybody to turn the presidential, the 2023 presidential election into a tribal thing. In his words, he said, and I quote, To me, now Igbos have two candidates because Atiku is as good as any Igbo man. He's a son-in-law. He had three sons with us who were Fulani and Igbo. That is a beautiful combination. What is this one saying? I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry it came out like that, but I could not hold it. Like, how was somebody who is very rational, somebody who is a full-blooded adult that is feeding from his or her mouth and breathing from her nose, <laughs> come out to ask to say something like this? Like, I don't, I don't get. So we now have two candidates. That's what he's saying. He said we now have two candidates. That's the South Eastern region now has two candidates in the person of Atiku. I'm like, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm, well, oh, I, I, me gets. I don't understand. Can you explain further? Because the last time I checked, uh, Atiku he was not giving birth to <laughs> by a South Easterner. A South Easterner is not his father. So what is going on? And he's the husband here. So what is he saying? Hmm. Now, wow, elections go much and make some people. They would talk like, say, I don't understand. Eh? Had they been this man now, he didn't go for this interview life. We could have sworn that, no, I'm not sure, say, he's in his right frame of mind as he was saying this. Hmm. Hmm. Now, wow. Dan Ulasi, how now? How? I'm particular, but I can't help it when I see a good post. Atiku is an in-law too in Yoruba, and we love him for that. Ah, okay, oh, no wahala. <laughs> hey, no problem. Peter B has claim record. It is all about competence and empathy in service, not a reward based on any sentiment. I'm asking, I'm trying to ask which re reward based on what Kiniki Loishi, what did he do? Did Atiku, did he break any Guinness Book of Record? Or, like, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm at a loss here. Somebody should tell me what exactly is going on. Because if you are coming out to say the sole reason for you to campaign for Atiku, it's not even because he's competent. It's because he married your sister. Uncle? Ah. A girl. This one, no grimy talk. Like, in all the reasons people are voting for people or people are campaigning for people, your own is because he married your Igbo sister. Well, eh. <laughs> We are talking of character and competence. Thank you. Character and competence to govern and not about in-laws and family members who are members of Asura cabinet, which the current government used to run this nation. And that is it. This election is all about what are you able to do? You know, in Nigeria, eh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to use this scenario. In Nigeria, we make use of your certificate. People are judged based on their certificate. It is a few organizations now that you come in and you have to prove to them what you're bringing, the value you're bringing to their table. If you're not bringing any value to their table, they're not going to take you. It is a few organizations. You understand? Nigeria here now, you go to school, once the USA you go to school, but you know, in some organizations, which I think that is the way things are supposed to do is, what can you do? What value are you bringing to their, you know, work atmosphere? So, we're not even supposed to be looking at marriage here. Marriage is not what? What is marriage? Ah. As in, uh, as in marriage your sister, what exactly can you, what exactly has it done? What exactly has it done to warrant this? So it is competency, it is credibility, it is capability over character, over nepotism, over favoritism, over ethnicism and tribalism. That is it. If we do not vote, as in, if we do not vote for marriage this time around, I've said it to Nigerians, we go so, so far. I'm so sorry to say this. This election coming, this forthcoming election, Omo, is not, is not a business as usual. 
It's not an election that we should be using to shere shere or play. Oh. Let us make sure, say, we wash our eyes and make, we don't allow soap to enter our eyes as we are inside the river. Ha, huh. it's not going to be funny. Okay. They gave Atiku your best right since he's not in law. Yaradua two years, Buhari eight years, not the common military regimes, old political sons. Now somebody came out, I have to, I have to drift a little. Somebody came out and said, after all, if they're talking about people who are being marginalized by the southern region as rude as in southern PDP, and I'm like, excuse you. And I'm like, excuse you, what are you saying? Don't even go there. Don't even go there. I don't know why if the northerners want to push somebody. Is it that the young northerners, eh? None of them feel come as I can't run. Please, first of all, I'm sorry. I'm not even supposed to be saying this because now it's the turn of a southern. It's supposed to be a southern candidate. And when it has to do with southern, the southwesterners have had their shot. The south, the south southerners also, at least they have done their bit. You understand? It is time for the southeasterners. Yes, if we know that. But if I want to even come and start talking about, okay, northerners safe go. It just occurred to me, say, do you know that all the people who rule this country will be not on us? They know they ever bring the one with the healthy. Yaradua came, this Musa Yaradua, God bless his soul. Hmm? He was sick and frail. Buhari came in, he was sick and frail. Now, Southwest won't join them. Ha. Huh. You know, make sense, so. You know, make sense. Now, even this man that is coming out, let me even read what he says. I don't misquote him. He's saying, he's saying, uh, what's it called? He said to me now, Igbos have two candidates because Atiku is as good as any Igbo man. He's a son-in-law. He has three sons with us who are Fulani and Igbo. It is a beautiful combination. I beg, are you going to say this now? I don't know if this person saying this is even reasoning because there are so many things that is making me want to say, no, this person, maybe he's not, he's not feeling too fine or definitely he's not the one typing this message because if you're talking about you know, fairness, equity, and justice. The Northerners are not even supposed to come out and contest. Let us tell ourselves the truth. It is not about the Northerners are not supposed to come out and say we the contest. Do you understand me? They are not supposed to come out at all. So this man is saying, eh, because huh, Nigerian so the ball is in our court. We decide where these balls go, whether this ball roll to the right or it roll to the left. We decide where this ball will go. So let us make sure that we are Voting not along the sign, not, a, not along the, uh, what's it called, sentiment line. We're not being sentimental in our voting. We're not voting uh, along tribal or religious lines. All right. Okay, on those notes, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time.